Well, hi guys, and welcome to Alcan ADV. Uh, I've been kind of absent for a while. I'm sorry. Uh, I have been really sick. I've been uh, pretty much laid out for the last couple of weeks, and so haven't had any videos. But anyway, now we're starting back out again. So uh, here you go. Today's video is going to be about uh, a gift guide, a Christmas gift guide for uh, motorcyclists, specifically adventure motorcyclists. Um, because, well, I guess that's just kind of the segment that I know best. Anyway, we'll get into it uh, right after this. Alright, so we're going to start the list out with a camp chair. And I already did a video on this chair. This is the a Light and Mayfly which isn't manufactured anymore, but there are plenty of good chairs out there. Uh, other than this one, I think I would probably recommend the uh, Helinox Chair 1 or Chair 0. There's a couple of different kinds. Uh, and 40 times around did a, did a great review on that chair. So go check that out. But that's definitely uh, something that a motorcyclist is going to appreciate if he doesn't have one already, is a little chair. Next is another piece of gear that 40 times around has also done a video on. Uh, he's actually sponsored by these guys, so definitely go check him out, uh, his his channel. He has uh, a video just on this, but this is the Survivewear uh, small first aid kit. I've taken this all over the country. Um, for whatever was wrong with me, this fixed it, and you've obviously got to modify them a little bit because like any first aid kit, there's stuff in there that you don't need, and there's stuff that you need that isn't in there, so anyway. It's a good solid first aid kit. Uh, go check him out. He's got links to everything on his channel. Now if your gift recipient is uh, any kind of a YouTuber, uh, there's nothing they like better than another camera. This is the camera that I filmed my trip with. Uh, it's the Way T action camera. Now I got this again on a recommendation from Tim Collins 40 times around. Um, these run about $30 on Amazon. and they come with a bunch of stuff, you know, a little charger and batteries and, and mounts and all that stuff. Uh, only thing I would recommend was the mounts that these things come with are, are no good. Um, buy the camera, throw the mounts out, get GoPro mounts, and you'll be fine. They're compatible with all the GoPro mounts, and uh, other than that, it's a great little camera, waterproof case. What more do you need, really, in a camera? I mean, it's not the be all and end all of picture quality but uh, for what I was doing it was just fine and I don't know check the channel out and you can see what it looks like anyway now this may or may not be a joke uh, but any of the motorcyclists that I know here locally uh, would definitely appreciate some bug dope and a stick of afterbite now this stuff is uh, you guys probably know bug dope just get the 100% DEET stuff and call it good. Um, a stick of Afterbite, I don't know, it's a, it's an itch eraser, if you will, as long as you have the wherewithal to uh, not scratch yourself bloody after you get uh, bit, you can apply this and, and actually cut down on some of the itching, so that's nice. Okay, now this is a little gadget that I got uh, a year or two ago for other things other than motorcycling, but it's, it's proved itself pretty valuable. This is a uh, battery bank for charging phones or, or whatever else. Uh, this one happens to be waterproof. If I was going to get another one, make sure it'd be waterproof. Anyway, you can get these all over Amazon. This one's Black Web, uh, and you know what? I haven't found another one. Uh, I've looked all over, and, and these seem to be out of production now. But anyway, it's pretty simple. You've got a door on this end with a couple of USB ports and a way to charge it. Uh, this one actually has a flashlight and a button to turn the thing on, but other than that, a battery bank, and there's all kinds of them. Now this is another thing that has all kinds of iterations depending on how much you want to spend and also uh, where you're going to get it. There are good ones and, and not so good ones. This is a cheap one that I got at Walmart, but it's served me all through the trip, and uh, that's a cup. It's uh, a cup, a bowl, depending on what you use it for. It packs down flat like that, and uh, there's silicone or some sort of rubber, and they work pretty well. 
anyway, not much to say about these. There's some good brands of them, and uh, there's some other ones that are just cheap ones like this one, but anyway, they work okay. And with any camping or, or outdoor stuff that you do, uh, you need a good headlamp. This is one that I've really been impressed with. I've got a few of these. Uh, this is the Coast, one of the Coast headlamps. They have a whole bunch of them. Anyway, this one, it's got a battery pack that goes back on the back of your head, and it's got a dimmer switch on it. So basically, you can cut out all the light that you don't need. If you're in the tent, you can have it really, really dim and uh, save your battery. It's got a tipper on the front and the front thing, uh, front thing. Remember that word, front thing. Anyway, it's got a zoom. And uh, other than that, it's just a good solid headlamp. The batteries last really quite a while on these things and uh, it's, that's kind of my go-to headlamp. I kind of stash one here and there. And now we come to the uh, more expensive end of things, uh, the ubiquitous inReach. I never had to use this on the trip and uh, I've never had to use one since but it's a good peace of mind thing and uh, depending on how much you want to spend it's uh, a valued gift. This one actually was a gift to me last Christmas actually uh, from my family because they knew I was going to go down on this trip and, and my mom in particular really wanted me to have one of these so that's uh, that's what this is. Their uh, plans and all that you can you can have and just go along with the thing or uh, you can just buy the thing, give it to them and they can figure out what they want to do with that um, you know later. Now this is the in the Explorer SE. No, this is the Explorer Plus, I think. Anyway, this is the higher grade model with all the GPS uh, maps in it. So you don't actually have to buy a plan for this one to work. This one works as a GPS all the time. But um, if you get the other one, the yellow one, it's uh, it's not a GPS. And the last thing I'm going to put on this list is the Nelson Rig uh, Adventure Tank Bag. Now they do all their tank bags by numbers and this is I think like that 1045 or something anyway it's their adventure motorcycle model it I guess it fits a lot of motorcycles but uh, especially the dual sports and adventure bikes I had this um, on the trip and I was really impressed with it this thing has survived a couple of motorcycle accidents um, in every one of which I lost a couple more straps and so eventually it was just hanging on by you know like a buckle and a bungee cord but eventually I mean it's been through two motorcycle accidents what do you expect anyway construction is really good it comes with a uh, cover a rain cover this isn't necessarily waterproof right like this but the rain cover is and you know it's good enough I don't think I hardly ever used the rain cover although I did a couple of times now this top part pops up and I rode with it like that for most of the trip. Uh, there's an incredible amount of storage in this thing. There's side pockets um, on the sides, what do you know, and a uh, map pocket in the top. There's what it looks like. Never did take the little picture out because I like the picture of the Africa twin there. So anyway, so that's it. That's it for the uh, Christmas gift guide. Hope this will give somebody uh, an idea either for somebody that you know or love or or both maybe well, I'll think of that or uh, maybe even just something get for yourself and, and uh, be happy about it anyway that's all for this week and as I guess you guys can tell we just got uh, a good bit of snow so I'm pretty happy hopefully I can get over this sickness pull the snow machine out and uh, I don't know get some video anyway you guys take care we'll see you next week